The following podcast is a Dear Media production. Pretty basic. Okay, this might be a little bit of a niche problem, but does anyone else feel like the times you actually try to put a lot of effort into your outfits, they don't turn out how you envision. And then the times that you actually don't try whatsoever, they look amazing. I feel like having that pressure to have the perfect outfit and honestly, just the pressure of your day and things being busy, planning your outfit around your day can just get overwhelming. I know I really struggle with that. And when I found out that Macy's all new brand on 34th was designed just for that, for women like you, I got really excited. And you should too, because it's seriously the most perfect clothes. They're made for your body, your style, and whatever your day has in store. Each piece is designed to mix and match seamlessly with everything in your closet. You need a blazer from work to maybe after hour drinks, pants with the perfect amount of stretch, a statement skirt with sequins. Seriously, no matter what you need, then on 34th is your new go-to. The biggest thing that's helped me not get overwhelmed when planning out my outfits is honestly investing in more staple pieces that are so universal. You can even wear them any time of the year. You can mix and match. You can wear them at work and then you can, you know, go dancing with your friends at night and they're just comfortable to be in all day. They form for your body. So if you haven't checked out on 34th, it's Macy's all new brand. And seriously, I really think you're going to find some amazing things that you love. I know I have. I'm not sure where you live, but the weather here in LA is starting to get a little more chilly and I'm so excited for fall and to be layering pieces and stuff. So if you haven't yet, check out Macy's.com slash on 34th to shop on 34th now. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Pretty Basic. I am your co-host Remy Cruz. And I'm your co-host Alicia Marie. And I have to point out the fact that we've kind of switched aesthetics. <gasps> Like, we look, did. Look at me right now. We did. If you're not watching the YouTube video, um, I am in a light pink early 2000s set. Light pink? Oh my God, I can't, <laughs> I can't think. A light blue early yes. 2000s set. That's very Remy core. So me, I already asked for the link so I can buy it myself. I listen, it's very You're so right. And I'm wearing uh, knee high black boots. These, uh, I made a TikTok on it went viral. But if you have extra wide calves like myself, not just wide calves, extra wide calves like myself, uh, go ahead and check out Vince Camuto. They did mm-hmm. sell out, but I'm sure they'll bring them back. And I'm wearing this um, cute little leather blazer and a little dress. You look so cute. Very fall. It's fall, y'all, and my black pink bows. Yeah, it's really cute. Thank you. That means the most coming from you. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'll send you the link. Please. I know. I want it. I want it in every color. I think they only come in two colors. That's okay. It does run a little small. Okay. This is a medium, Noted. and I think I could have done a large. Noted for when I order. Like, it's cute, but I'm like, like a little bigger. But those are kind of, like, meant to be fitted. They're meant to be fitted. They're not meant to be comfy. Can we just talk about, if you really think about it, that was the only way to wear jackets extremely fitted yeah. sweatshirt a, yeah. a sweatshirt that is like too small when you can't even move your arms mm-hmm. whenever my mom asks for merch she's like can I get it in a small and I'm like yeah but don't you want it to be like 2xl so you can <laughs> swim in it and wear it as a dress I just think of when I when the, you know poor Alicia in middle school when all that was in were low-rise skinny jeans and tight sweatshirts Ugh. like that I hate it I it's so uncomfortable it. it just doesn't so, make sense so uncomfortable but mm. I feel like it's kind of coming back it's obviously. cute it's super cute I'm gonna definitely buy that so um Remy <laughs> you did it again Remy yep Remy <laughs> I was teasing her because she calls me Remy <laughs> Remy so I mean we haven't sat in the studio and caught up in a while and I've missed you so much i Okay, just like so much has happened. Mm-hmm. Um, you're engaged, casual. Um, we covered that. We're done with it. I'm so over engagement things. That's so funny because uh, Alexis was over this morning mm-hmm. and I mentioned, I was like, yeah, we're going to, she's like, oh, you're going to talk about the engagement. I was like, oh, we already have a little bit. Remy's kind of like tapped out a little bit. She's mm-hmm. just been talking about it nonstop. Mm-hmm. She's like, no, I live for it. I want to hear everything. Oh, that's so nice. I, our producer was like, do you want to talk about the engagement stuff or like read these things? I was like, no, I, I'm truly good for talking about it right now I'm I good get it. for a, I'm good for a while thank you though I've, it's been so fun and amazing but I'm like if I'm annoyed I'm like everyone's got to be annoyed I feel that way not about this but in when my even with the vlogs when the content's old or stale yeah. I'm like if I'm over this no one else in the world wants to see yeah this. that's exactly which is it's not true yeah. and I know there are some people that want to hear about it still or just whatever's going on but right now I've just been in in chilling in blissful little uh home honeymoon time with Cal 
So I'm back with Henry, my 2011 Nissan Sentra. There's no backup camera. I did just buy the bootleg like Apple CarPlay that you can get on Amazon for like 200 bucks. It just like suction cups to the front. It's expensive. On it, but it's great. Yeah, well, and you need it. 10 out of 10 yeah. recommend. Because your car's over a decade old. It doesn't have, Does the was the radio working? The radio works. Does it have a tape, like a cassette player? I think it does. Sweet. I know. I know. I could play some like. You know what we should do? Tapes. We should take the CD from my children's book that I was on and do some Shut exercises the in the car. Up. <laughs> we should. We um, should. Also, no big deal, but he hit over 100,000 miles. Okay, wait, but 100,000 miles for like over a decade is really good. I know. Wow, no, well, that's no, really I'm, good. I'm telling you, it's so slay. I'm like, Nissan, how do I get a, like a brand deal? How do we like do something? Oh my God, you could get like a 2024 Nissan Sentra. Sentra. I would. That would I be iconic. Oh my God, glow up. I was telling Ollie, it's time for him to, to learn how to drive. I've been saying it for a long time, but it is time. And I was thinking like, oh, well, considering the fact that when he did used to drive, he told me that he would put one foot on the gas and one foot on the brake. I don't know if I felt comfortable with him sitting in my car. Maybe a Tesla would be better because so, um, it's only one pedal. It's just on and then off. They have a brake as well. Wait, I thought they don't. They have a, I think they have a brake, but I think that you, but if the gas works where you take it off, it stops. But I believe there's a brake still. Oh. I think one time I drove me as for like a split second. I think there is, but maybe it'd be better if he drove your car instead of my car for I the first time. I telling him to drive the Aston. He was like, no. And I was like, we can go to a huge open empty parking lot. Mm -hmm. Like it'll be fine. My insurance company probably would have hated that. But Have you seen the, I think it's Bob's Burgers. And I think uh, Bob is teaching Tina how to drive and they're in a parking lot and she's like he's like break break and it's going like a mile per hour and she crashes wait what that was the first us. what was the first time you drove do you remember um yes uh no I don't remember exactly actually but I do remember one time I had my permit and my parents really wanted in and out and they were like can you go get in and out and I was like I have my permit I'm not supposed to drive and they're like it's our secret. So they let me and Shane go to in and out and get in and out and come home and brought it to them. Oh my <laughs> God. Ashley was the first person. She like had me drive her car like in the neighborhood before I had my permit. And I remember being like, oh, I can't do this. Fun. And she's like, it's fine. And I remember sitting on the opposite side, like not in the passenger seat and behind the wheel felt so weird. Yeah. I was like, I feel so left. Like I was like, this just feels so weird. I love it. But because I was the second kid, I was able to watch and I knew that just because you have your permit doesn't mean you get to do cool stuff. It just means you do all the errands that your parents don't want to do. Oh. So I took my time getting my permit because I was like, mm, I don't really like care to. That's like, so funny. Because I saw Ashley just like go to the grocery store. Like she couldn't go hang out with friends. Like it was just like go to the grocery store, gas, like very like little stuff like that. Uh -huh. And I remember my mom being like, don't you want to drive? And I was like, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be driven I was around. Like, no. And it's so funny because it's so my personality. Like I don't mind driving. I just don't love it yeah <laughs> i just don't love it i love driving but i waited to get my uh license purely out of laziness like i was one of the older people growing up because i'm in february and all my friends were like in august whatever so like i was significantly older than a lot of people so you could have been the cool person who had their license i could have had out. it so early and i don't remember i want to believe it was pure laziness that i just didn't get my permit and then i didn't actually get my driver's license till i was like 17 i still have the same driver's license photo from when i was 17 oh i God. look like a baby it took me so long to get it i failed my permit test the first time so i, I did was, too it was, i was so sad the written the written me too oh my god yes. wait i didn't yes. know that yeah i filmed a tiktok that was like how many times did it take you to pass it i it took me honestly i only failed once but i was so embarrassed i was so upset my mom i remember my mom took me to lunch because she felt bad for me and then at lunch i kept pouting and then she got mad and she was just like i don't feel bad for you you just didn't study hard enough i just took this is so funny i took it too literal uh, like I, I was like well you would speed up <laughs> like right like that's what it's like i would overthink every single thing and I got, I got uh, too many. Too you are wrong. Rachel Zane on the LSAT. All my Suits fans will know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. That's <laughs> Meghan Markle. Oh, got it. Yes. Um. Well, so glad that we can drive now. Yeah, so glad Ollie with the freedom. Drive. Ollie should drive your car. I think. I'm for down our, for I'm our down. little church parking lot situation. Yes. Yes. yes the yes, church yes. by my house, I think, would be a good. Yeah. I've been actually scouting. I'm like, when is like the when is church not in session? When are good times to go? So no, Sunday no, night. No. No. Sunday night. There's services. There wasn't this Sunday. Oh, okay. Okay. Maybe not there. I was like, no, no Wednesday, no, you know, mm. maybe like Saturday morning. Okay, good idea. Yeah. <laughs> or like a, a Costco parking lot. You just need one. No, with, oh. Costco's never empty. Oh, you're and so And there's right. too many barricades. Oh, well, I drove in my, my Costco parking lot growing up. You know what we need? <laughs> we need like a parking lot where they would put on a carnival. 
<gasps> yes, because you can't have the curbs. Like an abandoned mm. mall. Yeah. Okay, I have the one in my head by the Machianos. Okay, we'll go there. Okay, perfect. <laughs> oh my God. Um, I just have to say you were so nice and fun in that episode we did with Cal. So thank you for the support. Oh my God. It was so sweet. Thank you. No, I like, I loved that episode. That was really, really fun. We actually just went on our little, we were, well, we were supposed to go to Korea a couple mm-hmm. weeks ago and then we were going to go to Japan and do the whole, the whole nine yards. And we were so excited to go, but the trip ended up getting postponed with the brand that we were going to go with. So I had already kind of cleared my schedule. I already had like, my mom was lined up to watch the dogs and then I was going to take her dogs when she went to Europe and all these things. So we had like a whole plan. And then, uh, when Korea fell through, I was like, well, shoot, like, do we want to go do something still? And so Cal and I decided to go to Vegas. I was just going to say, I forgot you went to Vegas. We love Vegas. Vegas oh. is our playground. Um, Cal and I have been going to Vegas since we were like very early in our relationship. We're, we're just obsessed. We're like little kids it. there. We like are degenerates who stay in the casino from like sunrise to sundown, as you and I are as well. You're my two <laughs> casino friends. I love it. Um, and we had so much fun. And while I was there... I was uh, posting that I was there and, and um, Cal and I got drunk and I was like, we should film a Q&A. I, I cut it because it was so boring. Wait, I, can I watch it? Can, it was so boring. I'm sure it's not though. It was really boring. No, Remy. Um, I cut it, but Remy. you can watch it. Remy. Remy's when I'm bad. Remy. Remy. Um, but while we were there, I got a DM from my favorite TikToker who I've discussed a bit like I've talked about her on my vlogs and things but I love her her name is Chloe and she and her husband are both TikTokers and he has a whole account just devoted to cooking for her like he just makes her whatever she wants to eat wait Cal you're missing a huge opportunity I know I was like hopefully they can like become friends and like Cal can like learn how to cook from him and so uh he is a he does cooking his uh username is cooking for wifey and then her username I think her username is Chloe they need merch. Her name is Chloe Bounds. They need merch for one shirt says I'm wifey and his shirt says she's wifey. That's I mean, an arrow. I love that. Take it. Anyone Chloe. take it. Okay. Well, her name is Chloe Bounds. His name's Addison Bounds. But oh, her her username is OMG. It's Chloe B. You guys, I'm obsessed with her. So I, like, I talk about her all the time. And then we kind of like became like mutual friends because... I don't know. It's either because I was like fangirling on her stuff or <laughs> she's also like an Alani new athlete. And like, oh, I feel okay. like I've seen her before, like in those circles and like Whitney Simmons the and all this kind of stuff. The internet is so weird where you like, you're like, are we friends? Have we met? I like, we know. don't know each other. I know. And then you're like, hey girl. And then you find that's <laughs> so weird. So she hit me up and she's like, oh my God, are you in Vegas? How long are you in Vegas till? And we were actually supposed to leave on Friday, but then we were having so much fun. We decided to extend till Sunday. And so I was like, we're here till Sunday. And she's like, oh my God, I get in today. I'm here till Sunday. Like, let's hang out. And oh I was my like, God, fun. It was like a double date. To be honest, yeah. Cal and I like don't have a lot of, like we have a couple friends because like, are like my friends have gotten boyfriends or his his friends have gotten girlfriends like uh, and, and yeah, like just say it, I'm single and, uh, we're, we have we are friends with you but you don't <laughs> you didn't bring anyone to the table yet so we can't be couple friends but like we've never actually like had a couple that we like really like click with no, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm just, sorry, I'm interrupting. Okay. No, like we never had a couple <laughs> that we've like met together and like become friends like in that front. Do you want to apologize for what you just said? I'm just apologizing to anyone who thought I was talking about them during <laughs> that last. I'm like, oh yeah, that you're friends with. You know what I mean? Cause like, obviously like we <laughs> love Lauren like. and Jeremy. No, but like I'm, I, Lauren and I were best friends first. And then I sorry, started Mia, getting Sorry, Lauren, sorry, yeah, anyone. Do, do you know like, what I mean? Like we weren't like together meeting another couple. And so she reaches out and I'm like, oh my God, I'm so. Wait, that is fun because I'm sure for Cal sorry my meds are wearing off I think I keep interrupting you um for Cal he's like oh that's Remy's like I met them through Remy so like this is the first time where it's like wow we met some like it's like equal ground that way yes absolutely I love that so she messaged me and she's like a mommy vlogger she does fitness content she's like she's stunning I'm just like obsessed like I and I don't miss the TikTok so like I knew she went to Vegas because she surprised him for his birthday early a month before and like set up donuts and like a sign and all these things. And I'm like, oh my God, you're in Vegas. Like it's so playing crazy. dumb. Wait, oh my God, I had no idea you oh were my here. God, so crazy. I did forget, but like I had, I watch all yeah. the TikTok. So she was so nice. And she's like, do you want to, or I think I was like, do you want to hang out? And I was like, we can grab a drink. Or also like, I know it's like your couple's trip. Like you're, they're a mom and dad. I was like, don't hang out with us if you don't want to like spend your time alone but if you're free and you want to grab a drink or go to the Taco Bell Cantina like let us know and she was like oh my god yes like absolutely like oh my god 
for sure. And so we like made plans to hang out. I think like that night or the night after, I think it was the night after. Cause I was like, I have like a day to like get my thoughts together. Oh my God. And I was losing my mind. I hope she doesn't watch this. Cause I was being like, I was so nervous and we were <laughs> getting like ready to go meet them. And I was so scared. I was like having like an anxiety attack because like, I just like wanted to be her friend so badly. And I was like, Cal, are you nervous? He was like, no. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, no, like this is like, they're, they're so nice. They're so cool. Like, I really think you're going to like Addison. Like, I feel like you guys are like each other in different fonts. Like da, 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 da. And I was like, like, what are you guys going to talk about? He's like, I don't know. We're dudes. Like we'll figure it out. <laughs> and I was like, okay. Oh my God. And so we went down and I wanted to go to the ATM to get some more money to gamble. And so I'm at the ATM. <laughs> I'm like filling, I'm like Cal's Vegas. fully talking to me and I can't hear a word he's saying because I'm, a, I'm having a full anxiety attack. You're excited. I was so excited and so nervous. I felt like I was having a VidCon meet and greet. Like I was so <laughs> excited and like I was going to throw up. Like I literally was like, I looked at him. I was like, I'm so sorry. I can't hear a word you're saying right now. I can like taste my heart pounding. Oh, no. And I was, he was like, Graham, it's okay. Like I'm sure she's really nice. And it was funny because on the way down, Cal, I could tell like Cal didn't know who we're, we were talking about. Like mm -hmm. he doesn't know them. He doesn't like really go on TikTok. Um, I like showed him their daughter because she's so adorable and they make me want to have a child. And he was in the elevator and he was like, so like if you told them the Taco Bell Cantina, like are we going to have to hang out for a long time? Because <laughs> oh you know, a God, Taco Bell I'm Cantina is dead. like a nighttime yes. activity. And I was like, maybe, but we're hanging out <laughs> you, with them. Don't screw this yes, up. Yes, <laughs> I was like, don't. And it was so funny because he said that. And I knew he just didn't even know what they looked like. He had no idea. No, but there's a lot. I get, I kind of get you feeling nervous because there's a lot of pressure. Like, oh, are we going to hit it off? Or are we yes. not going to hit it off? Yes. If you guys like, what if they don't really want to be with us, but they feel obligated? Like there's a yes. lot of levels to that. Yes. And also I was like, well, I'm sure she and I will get along because like I, we already, like I love her content. Mm -hmm. She knows what I post. Like we, we, like if she wants to hang out with me, like we'll vibe. But then I was like, this is what I feel with like couple dates. I'm like, oh my God, well, what if like they don't like Cal or Cal doesn't like them or Cal doesn't like the girl or I don't like the guy. Like there's just like, there's so many more layers mm -hmm. to it. So I was so nervous. We meet up with them. It was so fun. I love So that. much fun. Cal was like so out of his shell. They were so nice. I was like word vomiting the whole time because I was just so nervous. <laughs> Cal was so cool. Cal was so fun. And I was like, oh my God, like, so your baby's hands. <laughs> I was like, my best friend, Alicia, do you know Alicia? And she was like, is she the one with the podcast? I was like, yes. And I was like, why am I just assuming she knows you? Like, I was so no, nervous. No. Oh my, I was so weird. No, I'm sure you, Rim, seriously, like I've never met anyone who doesn't like you. So I'm sure it was so fine. There were so many things that I said and I was like, why did you just say that? All to say she was amazing. We like played, well, they were both amazing. We like got drinks and we gambled a bit. We ended up going to the Taco Bell Cantina. We all were like tired. So we went to bed. We hung out for quite a few hours. And I was like, I'm obsessed with her. And uh, we made new couple friends and Cal even like going up. He was like, that was so fun. I love They're that. so nice. Like, I hope they had fun with us. Like he was so, we were living. Wait, I love that too. Cause I, obviously I know Cal has anxiety. I'm like, yeah, I like, it really does make a difference when it feels like that even playing field. Yeah. It's like, oh, they don't know who I am. Am. like maybe they don't know that I am quiet sometimes like yeah. it's like a whole new like fresh like that's why it's, sometimes it's easier to like talk to strangers than like close friends for sure you know? to open up and be that vulnerable yeah no he was it was amazing and I loved them and I hope that I get to see them again where'd you guys day. go just the hotel bar um we just stayed at the hotel because we were both staying at the same hotel nice. also at the in Vegas that weekend there was a or I think for the whole week um a, a Russian group had hacked into like the MGM resort. So like a lot of them were down. It was crazy, but it was really fun. I remember sending you a TikTok and I was like, be careful. <laughs> People I know. were like, oh yeah, like it's insane Isn't here. Isn't that crazy? I was talking to all of the dealers, obviously, because I was sitting at those tables for a <laughs> long time. And they were saying like, yeah, they couldn't get a their schedules. Like it was all really crazy because they shut down like all the computers. A lot of the slot machines were down. Um, and apparently the MGM, whatever, paid the ransom. And I was like, how much was the ransom? Them. They said 30 million. I was like, obviously that's a shit ton of money, but if you've got Vegas down, I would think it'd be like 300 million. Yeah. But apparently it's all fixed. I'm now. shocked that hasn't happened. Actually, correction. I know that's happened soon. Like that's happened before. And I feel like now we're finding out about shit because of TikTok and like, mm. it's just easier to get news like that. Mm -hmm. But it makes you wonder, like you always hear the underground of Vegas is crazy. <gasps> I know. You know, I always think of the movie 21. 
Oh my God, I just watched that. I love that. that movie. I did just watch that. I went out to dinner last night with some friends and we were talking, just hanging out. And we were talking about how one of our other mutual friends wanted to type up this letter of resignation, <laughs> but they were just like being really hasty and, you know, they were being petty and they, they just wanted to leave this work situation. And I was like, you absolutely should. But because they were so upset, they sent us like their letter that they were going to send in. And my friend was like, come on, man, like just throw it into Grammarly. at least." <laughs> yeah, it was so I was laughing so hard because truly, I mean, Grammarly would have made the most amazing resignation letter. If you are a student listening to this and maybe, you know, you're back to school, you've got essays to write, you're slammed with projects, whatever it may be. If you're applying for a job, if you're making a presentation, if you're writing cookbook recipes for your your website. Or if you're quitting your job. Or if you're quitting your, exactly, <laughs> if you're quitting your job. Grammarly is absolutely amazing because they will just make you sound so intelligent and also just have your back on all fronts. Yeah, there's times like that where you, you just want to say, hey, save that for the drafts. Yep, just it save it for the drafts. Let's start over. Let's put it in Grammarly. They have their tone detection, which is perfect because yep. you never want to burn a bridge, no matter how bad your time at a place would be may have been, mm -hmm. you know, you still want to be a little professional, no matter how uh, spicy you want to make that, mm -hmm. that letter. For me personally, as I just said, when I was writing all of my recipes for my website, cookingwithremy.com plug, uh, <laughs> I was really struggling to find uh, a, like a nice tone and also just like a way, a way of speaking for the website. I had never really written recipes like that before. Yeah. So Grammarly was absolutely amazing and, and came in clutch for all of those because I was really just lost. I wasn't really that great at English. I wasn't that great at writing in school. And it just really helped me out to make everything sound really nice and, and pretty and just overall was awesome. See, my biggest struggle what, with writing essays or big emails or anything like that is always getting started. I would always procrastinate when it came to writing essays or anything because I, I had so many thoughts and I would get I would feel almost paralyzed of like how do I start this big 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 yep. essay ex, you know intro body conclusion like yes. you have to start out with this big strong and sentence it, and it yeah. needs to flow and you have your thesis and everything so I I learned just to start writing and I can always go back and do the intro later or tone it up later. But seriously, I'm so jealous because now Grammarly can actually help you get started with your intro and ideas and outlines and even just tips. So getting started isn't as hard anymore and you don't need to procrastinate. This seriously is just the way of the future. So if you have not used Grammarly yet, you are missing out. You will seriously wonder how you ever lived without Grammarly. Go to Grammarly.com slash students to download and learn more about Grammarly. That's G-R-A-M-M-A-R-L-Y dot com slash S-T-U-D-E-N-T-S. So what are you up to? What's been up with you? Oh, no. Well, Murph was over the other day and he goes, oh, yeah, I saw Rum got a new Chanel. And I was like, <laughs> oh, she did? <laughs> he is on my shit. No, I love, I don't even know. It. What does it look like? Um, Oh, my God. It's didn't watch. It's like a cute oh. little black <laughs> on black little like square. Is it the Vama B one? No, 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 no. Oh. It's from their new collection. It's really cute. It, it's just like a, a patent leather black, like um, uh, mini flap. Oh my God, cute. It was really cute. I cute. bought it with my wins. So you won. I also bought that bag over there also with my wins. I saw that yeah. and I didn't, know if it, I didn't know if it was a dupe. It, I mean, it should have been a dupe. <laughs> <laughs> but she's cute. But what did you get up to? What's new with you? Um. Oh, well, Ashley officially moved back in. <gasps> That's probably the biggest news in the Marie household. That's huge. How are you feeling about that? Good. It was so weird though, because she was gone for a wedding in Colorado. Yes. Um. So she's been gone like over a week, like over a week and a half or something. And her lease is up in a few days. So she has a few days to like clean up the place and, and whatever. But yesterday she's like, okay, um, I'm coming home, blah, blah, blah. And then I was like, wait, where is home? I was like, is home your place or is it my place? Or like, she's like, no, 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 no. Home like, is where the heart is. <laughs> literally. <laughs> um, but last night was the first night where she like stayed over and like got her room together and her office together because she's running two rooms now. I think I said that. I forget what You're platform. You're a full-on landlord. No, literally. I'm like, damn, this is good for the H -O -A, economy. HOA, HOA. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, your, your car was parked a little too close to that. <laughs> um, and it was so weird because last night she like obviously she's focusing and unpacking and all that kind of stuff but she was sitting watching t we were watching friends at night and I was just like this feels different and she was like no I know it feels different I was like it's so weird because like it doesn't feel like you're just visiting she's like no same but I think it's because I just have a room again because like obviously before she didn't have a room um and it's so funny because it's like not much about 
the guest room has changed other than some of her personal things but it's just I think that mental energy of like I'm here now yeah and it's really cool because we really don't know how long it's going to be for I could see it being anywhere from three months just till the top of the year or I could see it being another full year or maybe even longer I really in my heart don't think it's going to be that long and I feel like now knowing it's not like I don't know before when we were living together it just felt like that was forever and that was life and knowing this is going to be a short little chapter, I think I'm really excited to just like have that mindset, like being like, wow, this is the last time ever, really. And everything's intentional now. Everything's more intentional. And it's like, I think we've both grown so much because I think a lot of people were kind of interested. They were like, wait, why are you moving back in already? Um, and she had a year lease. It's already been a year. That is really crazy. That went by so fast. It went by so Poor fast. Poor girl just furnished that place also. Uh, no, she just furnished it. And she said up until like maybe five months ago, she finally like felt like it was home. Like it took uh, a lot. She really struggled with it feeling homey. Yeah. And she was like, yeah, it just started feeling like my house. Um, she's like, but it's fine. I'm, I don't regret it at all. Like obviously it was a lot of money. And I was like, no, I don't regret it either. I think we both have like, grown so much this yeah. past year in different ways that we never would have if we hadn't lived on our own one of the biggest things for me is I feel like I just appreciate my house so much more like I literally am like oh I just got what you were trying to do <laughs> <Did> you? <laughs> wait you read my mind I that's just so got crazy what you were trying to do wait what are you talking about what are you talking about the Roomba <laughs> Remy, I can't. Okay, okay. I can't. <laughs> Please. It was such a good story. No, but it's disgusting. You really did read my brain. That's really no, I crazy. Like, I was like, am I? I know. I just, <laughs> I like, it, it, it was a, a thing that popped in my head about three seconds Vegas. ago. <laughs> three seconds ago. Go on. You can't leave them hanging like Anyways, that, Anyways, I know. <laughs> Anyways, um how much I just love my house. Like I feel like it's become my little sanctuary and I love it so much. And anytime people ask before, oh, are you gonna move out? Like, what are you gonna do when Ashley moves out? Or what are you gonna do, what are you gonna do? I always would say, oh, I'll probably sell this or rent it and then go to an apartment or like something like that, just smaller. And just, I've always was so scared to be by myself. So I was like, oh, I'll feel safer if I'm like in a bigger apartment with like a doorman or something like that or whatever. And like, I feel like, I just love my house so much now. Like that's like every, every, okay. Fun little exercise everyone should do. Every day I've been trying to think of five things I'm grateful for. Usually now it's kind of like when I'm going to bed, I'm like, fuck, I didn't think of anything. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it's actually, I feel like it's really helped me. Like, I feel like I've been in a very good like mental place right now. And I low-key think that's part of it too. I think just like being able to get yourself out of your body, like today, let's do it. Okay. Um, and it can be anything from big or small, but most of the time I say my house, which is why I brought it up. Mm -hmm. Um, today I'm really thankful for pretty basic because I feel like, like we said, we always say like, it's a huge part of like us and our friendship. And the fact that it's been five years, um, is insane. And I am so grateful for it. It's changed my life. Um, I'm also really thankful for our producer who has put up with so much shit and edits, um, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm um, also, a lot. Um, a lot. Um, I'm thankful for my mom because I told her last night because she came out to help Ashley. I was like, mom, like I really, anytime we ever need anything, like she drops, you everything. always will just like come out and help us move or clean or like whatever the case is. And it just like means a lot. Like, mm -hmm. and I don't tell you that enough. Um, so thankful for my mom. Oh, I'm thankful for my meds because I did a podcast before this. I did our pack podcast before this, and this is my third one, and I feel like it's really working. That's you know amazing. What I mean? And I'm thankful for, I always try to think, I'm like, I don't want to just say shit to say shit. I want to like really think about it. Mm. Ooh, I'm thankful like for my body and how like I can walk and like the f mobility. Yeah, like I know one day I'm going to look back like, wow, I took that for granted. And I'm like, yeah. I don't want to feel that way. Yeah. So like the fact that I'm able to, even though there's days where I'm going to be lazy and just lay on the couch all day. Yeah. So I challenge everyone to do that because I really feel like it's helped a lot. I'll Anyways. do it now. Yes. Oh my God, what are you <laughs> thankful for? I'm thankful for you. I mean, we <laughs> just had a really, really, really nice talk between us. And I feel like, I feel like we don't do check-ins enough. And oh. we talked about, we left being like, we need to check in more because obviously coming here and talking is so I mean, it's a fucking dream. We get to talk and it's our job and that's it. Um, but I do, I'm excited to like check in more outside of the pod. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm just grateful for you in general. Um, I'm grateful for 
I'm really especially, I'm always grateful for our listeners, our subscribers, our followers every single day, because without their support, Mm -hmm. we wouldn't be able to do this for a living. Um, In general, I'm always really grateful for that. But today specifically, I had this really awesome moment where my parents are on their cruise uh, for their 30th anniversary, a little bit of delayed because of COVID, but Mm -hmm. I was able to pay for them to go for their anniversary trip, which obviously wouldn't be able to do so without the support. Mommy. But then also even more than that, they, uh, my mom and dad broke away from their group in Germany today to go to the Porsche m- museum because my dad's like so big on his Porsche. And even there he texted me, he was like, Remy, like, thank you so much. Cause I got him the car for yeah. Christmas a couple years ago. Um, and he's like, like, I didn't even see a, a car in this museum that still even like looked like mine or like the same color as beautiful as mine. So it just made me feel like so grateful again for like being able to do that. Yeah. And I wouldn't be able to do that without all the support from everyone. So that's number two. Um, number three, I'm very grateful for Cal because he puts up with me. Um, I'm very grateful for my health uh, because that's something that I feel like we often take for granted. And I'm remi- little things remind me here and there that I should not take that for granted. And I am grateful for Vince Camuto for making extra wide calf boots so that my I can feel like a skinny girl feels no, when she puts a boot on. Literally, <laughs> like that's what I love about this. It can be as big or deep or yeah, small as you yeah. want. Like you could be like, oh, these boots. Like, like I, I really, love them. I've never had my foot be able to slide into a boot and it feels really good. I, I like, I feel like I'm always sending you links where I'm like, this one comes yeah. in wide. Yes. <laughs> no, I appreciate it so much. Thank you. I feel like I'm such a shopaholic. And when I see the option, I'm like, oh, Remy needs to I know. I mean, they're like very far and limited, few and limited. Um, which I don't understand because like so many people have wide calves. Like oh some people just genetically, some people just like do. It's crazy. Also, I have to say, I don't have that big of calves, but a lot of knee high boots won't fit. It's crazy. So it's crazy how I'm like, damn, like who did you make this for? It's just wild because there's such a market for them. Exactly. It's really wild because like, like look, like how I said earlier, these boots, they sold out so fast. Mm-hmm. And like the other regular uh, width ones are still in stock. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. I'm like, if more companies did, like truly I am grateful for Vince Camuto because I've like not never been able to slide my leg into, even when I had like the smallest calves that I ever have in my life. And I try to wear those Stuart Weitzman boots. Oh my God, the I would take them off after like trying them on for like hours. Yeah, there was a line from the thread here. Like it's crazy to me. Oh my so God. So I am grateful for uh, representation for the uh, thick calved community. I love it. <laughs> But fun, right? But fun, right? I love it. I'm going to, I saw in your vlog you were doing that. I'm yes, going to start doing that. It's actually, yeah, I've been loving it. Well, Alicia and I literally just finished a conversation about how we're so excited for Halloween. I can't wait. I am so excited. I love Halloween because A, the weather's chilly outside. You get to dress up in any costume you want. You get to hang out with your friends. You get to eat some good candy. It's just so much fun. And also this year around Halloween, Pretty Basic is turning five. So we have a lot to celebrate this season. We have a lot to celebrate. And I also love how it's not just Halloween. It's Halloween month. You're any so right. day in October, if it's a random Tuesday, I'm like, oh my God, let's watch a Halloween movie. Or if it's, there's a, the first parties all the time, any excuse to dress up and go out, you can. It's just one of the best times ever. Also, if you guys have a costume party to go to, or if you're like us and you need like three costumes every single year, Macy's has you covered because they have pretty much any costume you could ever want. You can dress up from your favorite movie character or even a meme. I'm such a fan of funny costumes. Yes. I truly love funny costumes over sexy ones. Obviously do whatever you want. You know, you we all know I love a, a nice little sexy costume every now and then, but the funny ones are just so good. You're comfortable, you can be a little meme and it's awesome. And also I'm usually not a big host, but we all know Remy is. I love hosting, obviously, something small, something big. If you are, you know, having a Halloween party or a fall party, Macy's also has decor and candy for guests and trick-or-treaters, as we all know. I got a comment on TikTok, actually, that was like, I just know Remy is the kind of girl that gives out full-size candy bars. The king size. Yes. Ever since I was a kid... And I would trick or treat and I would sit in my garage with Shane after trick or treating and you dump your candy out, you sort it, you trade. I always told myself I will be the the house that gives out full size candy bars. And I indeed am. So if you want to be like me, go to Macy's and get your candy. Or you can be like me and keep the lights off and just not put (laughs) candy outside. I at least put a bucket outside. So the one time we did that, someone took everything. I mean, I was going to say, at least you're doing it though. Plus, you guys can get everything super fast when you order with same day delivery, pick up in store, or you can use curbside pickup. So head on over to Macy's.com. Woo. 
I feel like we can't leave the listeners hanging. And I'm hoping... <laughs> I'm hoping the people that hear this are just the diehard fans who all I'm going to say is wait till the very end before you have any preconceived judgments now upon me. Okay. Wait, can I give a little backstory yes. to this too? So your story will lead into my story. So Alicia and I went out to dinner the other night and we, I, I picked her up on the way and then we had dinner. It was so fun. And then I dropped her off back at home. Then I had to pee. So I was like, can I come in and follow you? I left like my purse in the car. I locked the car, but I left my purse in the car. Cause I was like, I'm just going to pee and leave. Lo and behold, we sat there for three hours. How Having the talk that I talked about earlier, where we just were like, yeah, good heart to heart. We've been needing to have one. Didn't even know we were needing Mm -hmm. to have one. Had a nice long talk. And then I'm like, it's like midnight now. I'm like, I'm trying to leave. I told Cal I'd be home at nine. I know. And, um, but, but we're just chit chatting. And then she gets me like talks. I, she had to take the dogs out. So you walk to the back door and then I followed you to keep talking. And then you went into this story, which then extended into longer. Oh my God. And so all to say, I got home much later than I had told Cal I'd be Uh home. Please tell the story now. Um, Also, this all happened over the course of the past few weekends. And I should, and now I have to tell Ollie. Oh my God, now I have to tell Ollie. No, here's the thing. (laughs) He doesn't listen. He knows, like if if no one tells him, he'll never know. (laughs) Watch, he's going to text me and be like, what? So there were the like (laughs) three weekends ago, this whole thing happens. But then I feel like the past three weekends, I've been like kind of MIA in our group chat. And it was for this reason, okay? Like this whole thing. She starts it by being like, so if you're wondering like why I've been MIA, it's because of this. And I was like, Which I didn't notice. I know you didn't notice. I know Ollie probably noticed because he'd be like, what are you doing? And we text a lot. Uh-huh. And I was like, I didn't reply for hours. I was like, sorry, I was cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> I was da, 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 cleaning. cleaning. <laughs> also like, Alicia, what do you clean? No, 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 no. That's, that's the thing. Okay. I'm aware how this makes me look. I have prided myself that I am a messy person, not a dirty person. But around yes. for the past month, I will tell you, I started second guessing a lot of things about myself. With in, this story. in said drunk Q&A, someone did ask, who would you rather live with, Ollie or Alicia? Oh. Both Cal and I said Ollie. And I said, because you're messy. I didn't say dirty. I said, because you're messy. Thank you. I really, I really appreciate that. But. But. <laughs> I feel like you already kind of live with Ollie. Like yes. Because, you know, Cal, like, you know, y'all are used to that. No, I, no, no, no. Like, we don't <laughs> want to live with either of you. It was just like you had, it was a would you rather. You I get had it. to. I get it. I'll take the L. <laughs> okay. So. The flies this summer have been crazy. Yeah. Crazy. And here's the thing. I've lived in my house. I moved in top of 2017. Okay. So I've been there a hot minute. We've been there through lots of summers, lots of heat waves. Like we know how it goes. There was only one other time where the flies were really, really bad. They're really bad again this year. I was like, okay, it's probably just like the summer heat. Like it, it does. It happens. Um, I guess it's better than an ant problem. You know what I mean? Right. Whatever. <laughs> There's all these flies. I'm like, oh, okay. So like, I'm trying to kill them one by one. Like, I'm try- like, I'm going at it, right? Like, boom, 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 boom. They won't stop. They're everywhere. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so bad. I'm going to get some fly traps. So I get some fly traps, okay? Put them outside, put them in the back. Like, they're everywhere. And I'm just like, okay, we got to figure this out. One day, Ashley had come by to drop off Chloe because she was going somewhere. And she lets Chloe out. Oh my God, this is so disgusting. This is so disgusting. It's really not that bad. It is. I really don't think it's that bad. Okay. So then Ashley's like, she sends it in our group chat and she's like, um, I think there's like these worms in a, <laughs> I think there's these like worms like getting in the house. And she's like, I'm trying to let the girls out. Takes a photo. I'm like still, I'm laying in bed upstairs. I'm like sitting there and I was like, wow. I think I'm going to like sleep in today and like go get my coffee and then journal. Like I had like, oh, I had such plans for the day. <laughs> I go to my, I look at my phone. I see that and I go, are those, are those maggots? Can I see the photo actually? <laughs> Maybe if I see the photo, I'll think it's no, grosser. I want, I want, but I don't really get grossed out by bugs at all. Remy, Remy. I really, like no bugs gross me out. Remy, I'm not kidding when I tell you I jumped out of bed so quick and I knew I was like, Ashley's about to book it. She's not going to help me because she was like, I have to go. Bye. She literally goes, that sucks. Bye. And I was like, what do I do? Like, what do I fucking do? I'm grateful for my house. I'm I'm grateful for my house. house. I'm grateful for my house. house. (laughs) No, literally. I'm like, what the, like, I hate bugs as it is. I hate. um, I wish you had called me. I really would have had no issues. No, Remy. I was like, I'm not telling a soul. They're oh my god, that's like not even bad. No, they're tiny, but they're. I fast. thought there was going to be a lot more. No, there were. They just weren't in that photo. Oh. <laughs> so 
literally i'm like wait what They're what kind of cute no d- don't you fucking dare Remy. you know what you should have done and what i would have done i would have gone to petco i would have bought every like leopard gecko they have and i would have just unleashed them on the floor okay but buffet then i'd have a gecko problem that's not a problem that's a that's a beautiful beautiful <laughs> oh my god what is the word beautiful blessing no, they were disgusting. And I was like, oh my when God. they like lick their eyeball, they're like. So Ashley leaves, I'm freaking the fuck out. I'm like, oh my God, oh my God. And then I'm like, the dogs, like the dogs. I don't want them. The dog, the, the dog. dog. I was like, what do I do? I don't want them to eat them. So I like throw them in the laundry room, which is big, don't worry. <laughs> but I like throw them in there. They're like trying to get out. And I'm like, no, That's stay. their spots, yeah. That's their spots. That's still a safe place. And I'm like, oh my God, what do I do? My mom's on the phone with me. She's like, oh honey, like I feel like every homeowner gets them at least one time in their life. Like we had them once in the pantry, like Did you say they're ago. maggots? Yeah. Okay, you said Maggots. Okay. <laughs> Disgusting little Cadet Kelly maggot. <laughs> Very niche. They have feelings too. No, you they know? don't. They don't. They don't. They don't. <laughs> Remy, they don't. <laughs> okay. So I'm sitting there. I'm like, oh my God. I, I'm not kidding. I'm like gagging. I'm like, oh. I'm like, I don't know what to do, but also they're fucking fast. There was one hour. There was one by the bathroom. Keep in mind, like I'm sitting at this table and she's telling me the story on her feet, running around being like, they're fast fuckers. They're fast little fuckers. <laughs> yeah. So then I was like, but then I decided, you know, Alicia, you got this. My mom was like, hey, I'm happy to come out and help, but we only have one car now because you have Henry, oh. you have the Nissan and dad's at a doctor appointment. So I have to wait for your dad to get back in an hour and then I'll leave, which is going to be another hour and a half. So the next three hours, Alicia, you are by yourself. And I was like, I can do this. Like I literally had a pep talk with myself. and I was like, I fucking got this. And what you said about maggots is like they, they normally, so they're like fly larva, you said? Uh, yep. <laughs> It's really not that big no, of a deal. it's disgusting. And, but you said that they usually show up around like death, right? <laughs> Sorry. I'm just clarifying for people that didn't <laughs> you know. You said death. death. <laughs> like yeah. there's something in the floorboards dying and they're there. Yes, because apparently, so they're, it's like eggs from, from flies, but flies only lay them in things that are dying. Oh, so that's why they're associated with decomposed anything, wow. animal okay. yes. and all that shit. Yes. <gasps> so I'm like, what the fuck is dying in my, you know, and like the, oh my God. So I'm like, I'm okay. I'm okay. I literally, I run upstairs. I put on leggings. So my, 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 my ankles legs are, showing, are yep. my ankles are showing. I have s- tall socks on. I put on <laughs> my inch and a half daddy Crocs. So I had a platform. So I felt elevated from the surface. You I put lit- on five inch stripper no, heels. No, literally, if that's all I had, I would have done it. Anything to get me away from their level, even though they're the size of a little rice. I'm not kidding. I'm standing there and my dad's like, oh, just vacuum them up. And I was like, okay, cool. With my Dyson, like. Like, I'm sorry. What do you want? Me, what do you want me to do? Like, I don't, I'm I, like, I sure one of those shop vac things would be ideal, but I'm like, I, I don't. told Cal you did the, the vacuum and he was like, what? He was you like, said you didn't tell anyone. You said I could tell Cal. I didn't tell anybody else, but it's you okay, said I had to because, um, why we needed to make sure. Yes. 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 Okay. Don't worry. I didn't tell Ollie. Like you told me to not tell Ollie. Okay. Well, I just knew Ollie would literally never he's, come over he's again. He's at home. No, he's literally like, wow, low <laughs> chica low. <sighs> so I'm freaking the fuck out. I'm like, okay, like whatever. And then Ashley, and then I, I'm like, you know what? Screw it. They're moving fast. I got to do something. Like I got, I don't even have time to go to the store to get a vacuum. They're like fast fuckers. They're fast fuckers. So I literally, I grab my Dyson and I'm like, I'll just buy a new one. It's okay. It's okay. So I go, I go to do it. It sucked up one and then it died. It died. Remy, that poor one no, soldier. No, no, no. <laughs> that one soldier was, you know how like penguins when they go up to the cliff and they push one off <laughs> to see if it gets eaten? To be like, and then if the water is safe, that was the one that you That was the one. Up. And then it dies. It literally <laughs> dies. I go, no. <laughs> so I throw that and I'm just like, okay, what do I do? Wait, what did I you do? throw it out? Cause there's one in there? <laughs> no, that one I cleaned you up. Well, I it. didn't clean it out. <laughs> My mom definitely helped me do that. I ain't gonna lie. My cheeks are. No, it's so embarrassing. It's so embarrassing. It's so embarrassing. So then homeowner things. Anyways, then I'm like, what do I do? And then Ash, I call Ashley and she's like, well, I mean, like I have my vacuum, but it was a Dyson. And now she's like, I would rather you not use it. But she's like, I guess you can come my and get it. My cheeks actually hurt. I no, can't stop. No, literally it's so, it's literally so stupid. And I'm aware, but Okay. So I go to Ashley's place, I grab her vacuum, which I could have just gone to CVS. Around this time, Ashley's like, wait, 
why don't you just like go get a cheaper vacuum that we can throw out afterwards but in that moment I was in my croc daddies and I had gloves on and I was like in ready position and I was like I'm sorry Ash I'll buy you a vacuum you know what the best vacuum you could have used is do you remember that one we got in a tart PR package like the years ago one? that was like <gasps> that would have sucked yep. them all right up so then um so I do that. I get a lot, but oh my God. And I, I literally, if, okay, this is like a very, very, very niche inside joke, but like for anyone who's seen Narnia, <laughs> here we go. Like again, grew up private Christian school, everything, you know? So Harry Potter was like witchcraft. I couldn't watch that, but Narnia was fine. Cause that's like God witchcraft. You know mm-hmm, what I mean? Mm-hmm, <laughs> mm-hmm. It was a Christian book, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 C.S. Lewis. Um, Turkish so, delight. So yes. So there's one part where the main character like they're about to go to war and he's like for narnia ashley and i always quote that we'll be like for narnia (laughs) like for any random thing ever right i sat there by my damn self in the dining room going for narnia (laughs) you did it i ran (laughs) my mom was on facetime but i was like for narnia and then i ran and i'm just like sucking and i'm screaming i'm like die die i'm sucking them up and i'm just like ew like i was like this is not okay like this is actually disgusting i had so many things going on how did they get here are there more is something dying i am dirty like okay, I'm, I'm officially dirty. like that bothered me more than anything. I'm like, wow, I officially can't say I'm messy, not dirty. I, this is dirty. This is filth. This is disgusting. It was a pile of water bottles. That's messy. <laughs> 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 Anyways, so I'm sitting. I'm like, oh my god, this vacuum dies. This vacuum dies. Oh, no. And I'm like, how many more did you have left? Oh, hundreds, <gasps> hundreds, Remy. There were like, were there? There like were a thousand? so many. There were truly, I'm not exaggerating. I need to go back and find my security footage because I'm sure it's comical. You need to. And were they all in like one area? So they were all there, but they're fast fuckers. Yeah. And then I, I looked, they're like across <gasps> by where Rosie's bed was. RIP, it's gone. Oh no. <laughs> and they liked to be like, Ugh. they liked like going under, Ew! they liked like going under things and shit. And I'd be like, and I'd like be scared to lift something up. And I'd be like, ah! yeah. And then now I'm the, t- again, I'm all or nothing in my head. My house, my whole house is now contaminated. Like yeah. I felt like in you Monsters, and at Monsters University, I was like, burn yeah. everything. Yeah. Like I truly, I don't care if they can't go upstairs. The upstairs is contaminated yeah. in my head. Yeah. So I'm like, I oh my God. That. Then I had this Roomba <laughs> and I was like freaking out. And I was like, okay, let me like Postmate. <laughs> this is so stupid. Well, actually it was DoorDash. I was like, let me DoorDash a vacuum because I don't have time to well, you go. You can't leave because if you leave, you don't know where they've gone. Yes, and in my I head, I have it somewhat contained. I wish you had called me. I was probably sitting no, on my couch. No, you were gone. I think everyone was like busy. Oh, no. So I was just like, it's fine, Alicia. This is your day. This is your day. This is your life. It's fine. So then I DoorDash it. This this wonderful man named Cowboy goes to, uh, Big Lots was the only thing that like would deliver a vacuum. So okay. he's like in Big Lots trying to send me photos of things and whatever. You're it, like, and buy them all. I literally was like, I don't care anything. <laughs> he was like, what about this? I was like, nope, it's fine. And then it, literally anything with a hose. Like I need something I can like do a handheld situation uh-huh. with. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Um, uh, yeah. Then it, it times out. And he's like, so sorry. Like I have to cancel this. Like it's not letting me substitute whatever, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, fuck it already been an hour I was like I could have gone to the store and I was like okay it's a, it's fine so all this meanwhile I have a broom in my hand <laughs> I'm standing where I'm pretty sure they're like stayed at anytime one would come near me I'd like hockey puck it over <laughs> I'd be like move like go like don't like and I, again they're fast like I was just faster than I thought so then then I'm like screw it what why not just have to get rid of two vacuums let's get rid of three Roomba, your time is up. His name's Robbie. Well, it was R.I.P. Rip Robbie. <laughs> Rip Robbie. We had a Roomba. His name was Robbie. Why do we name inanimate things? I don't know. Is that trauma? Probably, but it's just like a personality thing. His name was Robbie, and he was tru- truly like standing Rip. ovation. Rip. He was the soldier that like took one for the whole team. <laughs> like he went back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And then anytime one would come near me, I would like move them in the way of Robbie and then he would just suck them up and I'd be like you yeah. know it was truly so disgust it was truly the most like disgusting thing I've ever had I truly was like I would have rather this been ants I would have rather this been like like they, it was the most she, disgusting thing ever you said you'd rather have it be spiders which now I'm kind of taking that <laughs> I was back gonna say that because was crazy. I absolutely hate spiders but I've gotten better with them but this just was a whole other level of like Oh my God. So then my mom's researching it while she's on FaceTime with me. And she's like, okay, it looks like they can last for five days and then they turn into flies. <gasps> and I was just like, ew, what in the caterpillar shit is this? Butterflies are so much cuter. Like why couldn't it have been well, butterflies? Thinking, at least they can't fly. But if you took too long, they would have become flies. <sighs> and they're just like nasty and gross anyway. So I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to just get all new flooring. Like that's, <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, anyways, 
the new the new vacuum comes I'm like like I'm still freaking the fuck out I'm like oh my god I finally think oh then my mom's like hey it looks like they don't like salt so I'm like okay so I grab table salt <laughs> I'm pouring it mounds of them over them they wiggle their way out I was like are you supposed to die upon contact and then my mom's like something about lime juice I find a lime fucking margarita up in this bitch I had salt and lime everywhere I'm not kidding and the mounds I was like I don't care about my floor like I, it's gonna ruin it I don't care and then my, I'm like mom they're not dying like what the fuck and then she's like okay like grab 409 like it says oh vinegar so I'm like okay I make a concoction of vinegar white vinegar and something else spring this floor is truly seen everything <laughs> like everything right finally I think I get it somewhat under control like somewhat under control my mom thank god she made it in time thank God, I was like, <laughs> with my broom, like, I think we got it. The new, the new <laughs> vacuum came and it was good. Your leg, like on the mound of salt. No, yes. literally. And, and <laughs> so then I'm like, I don't know what to do. My mom's like, okay. I was like, I think I got it more under control, which we didn't. Well, I, I thought I did. By the time she came back, we were like, okay, let's just like clean everything. But we obviously found more. And then I'd be like, die. And then it was so funny because the first time there was like a little pack of them hidden that I hadn't seen and my mom saw it she goes like ew but by this time I was a pro I was like fuck and I like grabbed it I'm like <laughs> like I'm knew like, maybe like, this was like a uh desensitizing uh activity um I feel like this was the final send-off of me no longer living alone it's like I paid my dues okay you know what I mean yeah, like yeah. I, I I feel like truly maggot problem I fucking got you yeah, bitch like yeah. truly I will come over and I'm like okay wear the crocs wear the gloves <laughs> don't use the dyson get the vacuum yeah um thank fucking god the next day our bug the bug guy who comes and helps clean the house every like four months happened to be scheduled to come wow. the next morning so I'm like let's go so uh, so then my mom spent the night and she's like oh I'll talk to the bug guy in the morning because you know I thought it I thought maggot gate would be like a few hours to clean no it took literally all night it was like midnight and we're still cleaning we're on, like on a roll holy shit no because again OCD maggot kicks gate. in and I'm just like well now like you feel dirty, I don't know yeah. I felt dis I was like yeah. oh my god I just need to shower and like get all this like yeah. gone the next morning the bug guy comes my mom talks to him and she, he's like honestly like there's really not much you can do it's actually more common than you think it really does happen like there could be no rhyme or reason and what happens is when a fly <laughs> this is disgusting oh my god everyone's judging the shit out of me when a fly lays its eggs in something and for whatever reason that home gets disturbed whether it's like removed or something like that they freak the fuck out and they try to make their way indoors it's ah. a thing so that's why they were by the sliding door mm -hmm. made me feel so much better because i was like okay, so I'm not just like a disgusting piece of freak, you know, you can't keep their house clean or whatever. And he was like, oh my God, no, it happens to the people who are like the cleanest too. Like it's not anything about They're just you. trying to move. It's not like they wanted something in your house. They're just trying to move. Yeah, but I don't want them to move. I get that. I don't want them to be alive. I get that. <laughs> Damn. No, I don't. <laughs> nope, not in my yard. Nope. <laughs> anyway, so that made me feel better because I was like, okay, like it's not like a crazy thing. Um. Anyways, that week goes by. We're good. We're solid. The next weekend comes flies everywhere I'm like shut no five days five days I was like did they act <laughs> I was like oh my god not this again but this time I was like I know what you fuckers do and I'm not allowing you to lay fucking shit anywhere oh, yeah. so when I tell you I think I got the most cardio steps in I've ever gotten in in that weekend from killing these flies and I have a little bone to pick with the electric fly swatter I don't care if it's a safety hazard make it stronger if I hit a fly and it just stings and then it keeps flying why is it I just fucking electrocuted it. I'm so sorry to be so annoying right now, but I saw a baby fly in my house today and it Don't. was so no. cute. No, Remy. It was so, it was like a shrunken down No, and fly. the baby ones are fast. They're and so that's, cute. No, I mean, no. I killed it, but it was just Thank like, you. I, I killed it. And I was like, oh my God, it was cute though. <laughs> like they're just so little. Everything little is cute, you Ew, know? But they're big buggy eyes and they're nasty colors and like they're wean. Anyways, nasty yeah, colors. I don't care. I don't care. I, I need something stronger because my, I would literally hit a fly. It would like be and like be like paralyzed for a second. And then it'd be like, and I would like, are you, I just hit you. Like, <laughs> you have mutant flies. Well, what I do is I put it on and then I hold it and it's like, no, and so now it smokes. No, no, no. Now I, I bitch. Oh, I am the best fly killer ever. I will literally, I have a technique. You put it against the glass. Uh -huh. You just you fucking hold. fry the yeah. shit out of it. Yeah. No, when I tell you again, I think I vacuumed up. Again, me and my vacuum, I've learned. I'm like, okay. 
boom, kill the fly with the electric fly swatter, let it fall to the ground. I went around to the same parts because I kept doing the same thing. Then I'd vacuum up the fucking little things and then they were nasty and then there'd be more and I'd be like, what is happening? I'm not kidding, two days, so many. I'm disgusted. I just cleaned my house. Here it is. I'm like, oh my God. So I go crazy. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going full balls to the walls. I'm getting new fly traps. I order overnighted the craziest fly traps I ever could. Right. I like put one in the backyard. I put one by the trash can. I like, I'm like, I'm good. I get these electric ones that plug into the wall. I saw on TikTok. Like I'm like no fly. No, like nothing like that. No, not my sanctuary house that I'm grateful for. <laughs> not today, Satan. That's what I said this time. You know what for you Narnia. need to do? You need to live in a high rise like I did. I lived 28 floors up. I think I had one fly in like four years because I, and every time I saw like a bug or something, I'd be like, how did you get up here? No, literally. Like it rode the elevator. No, literally. <laughs> Isn't the like elevation weird for you? Like, how are you fine? You gotta live in a high rise. I know. I might after this. <laughs> well, I, I was debating around this time. I was like, I can't, I can't, I gotta move. <laughs> like, what do I do? I gotta move. So around this time, my dear mother, I love you so much. She um came out actually to help Ashley move because this was before Ashley went to Colorado and needless to say I was like we haven't fly fly gate over here <laughs> like I'm like what do I do what is wrong and I was just like oh my god so she's like oh my god I can come help and I was like oh thank you so much because she's already down the street at Ashley's mm-hmm. so she helps Ashley they like finish packing and then she comes over and then her and I had a a routine i'd fucking use the fly swatter she'd mm-hmm. vacuum and then we'd switch it was like such a thing and i'd be like i truly got so many st- i think i walked miles that day from just How walking around the house flies did you kill probably 400 at like within the course of two days but i'd be like where are you coming from oh like God. i literally was like what the fuck is happening are there is there a hole in like my window like yeah i mean the floorboard like yeah. what is happening yeah. this is not normal like yeah. i've lived here for so many years this is not normal Then around this time, because I'm in my cleaning mode, I ordered a power washer Mm -hmm. that you told me to get. So we're like, I was like, well, let's just clean everything. Like, okay. So we're cleaning the front, like front of the house. We're like power washing everything. I, the front, the, when you first walk in before my front door, the patio set, you know, I was always so dirty. Oh my God. It was like so clean. So satisfying. It felt like I was airbrushing. (laughs) Um, the next thing we, then we do the backyard and then we have our, our backyard furniture has like white cushions and they've just like taken a beating over the past like six years, however long we've had them. So we're power washing those. They turn crisp white. And I was just like, Oh my God. So we were cleaning everything. It's so therapeutic. It's so fun. I was just like, Oh my God. I feel like I'm like, this is great. Right. Then my mom's like, you know, like these fly traps, like I think you should get rid of them because even though yes, they catch flies, it was one of the ones where like you mix a powder with water and then the flies go in it, but they can't get out. And she was like, even though it's working, like it's still attracting flies. So my guess, all the flies in the neighborhood are like kind of coming to your house right now. And I was like, yeah, but what do I do? Cause there's literally so many, like what else can I do? But I was like, no, I get it. So she's like, I think we should throw them away. So she throws them away. I was just like, okay. So we're power washing everything, everything, everything. And then after a full day of power washing, I'm like doing the last little bit and I'm, I'm doing the, the backside of the long couch that's outside. I look and I'm like, oh my God, there's a water bottle, like a, a thermos um, that was stuck under the couch. So I'm thinking, oh my God, like, I don't know how long that's been there. Like, I truly don't remember it. The only, like, whatever. I look closer. It's an old fly trap filled with water. Cause also keep in mind, it's been raining like crazy. Mm-hmm. I truly have no idea how long it's been there. Truly. I can't even, it had at least been there for months. Well, what I told you is I think you probably had it out and the hurricane probably knocked it under and you had no idea. <sighs> and instantly I knew where all of my problems came from. Mm-hmm. A fucking fly trap. That was, lo- I don't know how long in the abyss it's been there. Mm-hmm. I truly don't. I truly don't know. Well, I think it had to be more recent that it got knocked over because for them to come out and try to find your house, like that had to happen pretty quickly. Well, and if you went in my backyard, it kind of smelled like fertilizer or like manure in a way. Mm. And I was like, that's weird. Cause like, I don't have crazy animals, but I was like, our neighbors have chickens. Like maybe it's just like the summer heat or like something I found it. That was the problem for everything, for the maggots, for the flies, for the nasty little gnats, for like truly every ounce of my issues the past month found 
when I scream, like I truly, <laughs> then I replayed my war is over song. I literally, no, like I was Joy like, again, I was still in my, you know what song I'm talking about? No. Well, Christmas and a happy new year. And then it's called like the war is over. It's like a, oh, you yeah, know I've seen it. I've seen it. I was like wave white flag surrender, <laughs> Alicia versus Maggot gate, Alicia versus fly gate. Like all is, the, I haven't seen a fly since. <gasps> I haven't seen a fly sense. See, I don't think it's gross. No, like, it's disgusting, I don't Remy. think it's gross. I think it's hilarious. I think it's disgusting. I think it'd be gross if you never found that thing. No, I wasn't going <laughs> to tell. I truly, so Ollie's like, what'd you do today? Clean. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm literally on the front For line. Narnia. I'm on the front fucking line being like, For Narnia! I'd be like, die! Like, I literally was screaming at these things. <laughs> oh my God. And truly now, if you ever need it, like I'm here to help you. I hope to God I never do, but mm -hmm. thank you so much. Yeah. And then Ashley's boyfriend was like, oh, we had them one time. Like, it just sucks. Like, at least you don't have carpet. And I was like, oh. Ew. <laughs> I was like, I would move. That's bad. I would move. That's bad. You do have to, yeah. Ew, that's really bad. Disgusting. I think like, I really, no, I thought Remy, it was hilarious. It's hilarious because there's a happy ending and it's clean now. Yeah. But truly, like, there's a reason why I didn't tell you until you came over. And I only meant to tell you because I was like, by the way, I recommended those fly traps to you. So be <laughs> careful. Like, I was like, I promise there's a reason I'm telling you this entire story. Oh, I loved it. My full circle moment was like, so yeah, those 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 traps I, I told you to get, like, use at your discretion. Yes. No, um, I did tell Cal to be aware of those fly traps. And he was he was mostly just shocked by the vacuum of it all. He was like, she ruined a vacuum? What else? Would, no. Three. Three. <laughs> to be, ro oh my God. Robbie, you served your dues. You literally like, I feel like I, yeah. Poor Robbie. Poor Robbie. He took one for the team. He took one for the team, but I will say it was the best plan of attack and it had to be done. And just now I want to get one of those like actual shop vacs. That's like not. I have one. Like, yeah, that. Yeah. I would have been. It's like on wheels. It looks mm -hmm. like R2D2. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I could. I wish I was here. I'm so sorry. Um, well, all to say also with your story, as I'm sitting at your table and we're just discussing and you're acting out everything for me, running back and forth. Yes. She was giving me the whole performance. And once I was in, I had to ha say the whole story. It was like, like Broadway. No, it was so dinner and a show. It was so good. And then after you finish, I was like, ah, I should probably go home now. So. Oh yeah. Cause I was like, Hey, are you okay? He kept like, like texting, but we were like, we were deep in conversation. Mm -hmm. So I was like, yeah, I'll be home soon. Like, sorry, I forgot to like update him and usually I'm really good about updating anybody if I'm like running late or whatever yeah but I was there for so many hours and then I was driving home and then I was like we had her early dinner I'm kind of hungry so I went to in and out <laughs> we did have an early dinner and it was like a it was very sure it was a too. Friday night yeah, yeah. And we didn't eat much it was a Friday night so like the in and out line was long I'd also I knew Cal had dinner so I didn't even ask if he wanted anything because he had texted <laughs> me that he was getting dinner like when we were mid conversation, I was yeah. like, he just ate. I'm sure he doesn't want anything. So I'm in the drive through and Cal's like, Hey, Wait, what'd you get? Um, tomato wrapped burger, double hamburger, um, raw onion, whole grilled onion, tomato wrapped. So good. I've never had a tomato wrapped it's, burger, which I love a tomato. It's I'll do so that next good. Time. Oh my God. My mouth is salivating thinking about it. So I'm like in line waiting. The line is long. I'm like, I'm in no rush. Yeah. It's fine. Why would you be? I make it finally to the front of the in and out line. And Cal's like, hey, look, are you coming home? And he was kind of being short with me at your house. But, and I even asked him, I was like, are you okay? Mm -hmm. uh, was everything fine? He was like, yeah, I'm fine. But even then I was like, he seems a little upset, but mm -hmm. I'll deal with it when I get home because yeah. I don't know what it could be. And finally <laughs> I'm walking at this point though. Now I've talked for two hours at dinner. I've talked to you for three hours at your house. I've just talked nonstop for five hours. I was tired, mm -hmm. but I was hungry. So I like walk in. And when I open the, the door to get from the garage into the house, you know, like where the bathroom mm -hmm. is, he's just standing there. <gasps> and I screamed because I was like, you he's never stood there. Yeah. I was like, ah, what are you doing here? And he was like, oh, I've just been waiting for you to get home. And I was like, okay, well, <laughs> I'm going to go eat my burger. And so he like follows me into the kitchen. I sit at the island with my eyes closed in <laughs> silence, eating my burger as he's standing there just watching, watching you. <laughs> and I didn't think anything of it really. I was like, this is weird, but I was so tired and so hungry. Yeah, I, like, couldn't I, don't think about I can't it. even think. Even like, he was like, what did you and Alicia talk about? And I was like, uh, tomorrow. Yeah. I was like, 
<laughs> with my eyes closed. You're like, shh. Uh-huh. And I've got like onion breath, like raw, <laughs> a whole raw onion. And so then uh, finally I get up and we're like, he like takes my hand and I was going to go to bed. And he always like walks me to bed at night. And so he's like walking me up and then he like stops by the, you know, like the little baby mm-hmm. gate we have. And he's like, we're going to leave them here. And I was like, what? And he like closes the door so that all the dogs are like in the living room. And he's like, I want to take you upstairs. And I'm like, you're oh like, damn, God. I got onion bread. I know, babe, <laughs> babe, you gotta let me brush my teeth. <laughs> and so I'm like, he walks me upstairs and I really wanted my water and I was too lazy to get my water bottle and I left it on my glam room table. And so he's like, I was like, can I get my water from the glam room? And he was like, uh, oh, okay. And he opens the door to the glam room and he's set up all of these candles. Shout out Jackie Ina. They were forever mood candles. I love it. And he put like a little like U shape and then candles kind of all around and they were all lit. And I was like, hold on. And I grabbed my water bottle and I'm like, chug, 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 chug. And then I was like, okay. And I like jumped back over the candles. And he was like, I didn't get to say everything that I wanted to say when I proposed. Because as we all know, he had a really hard time getting his words out. And he he told me at dinner right after he proposed that he um, didn't actually plan what he wanted to say. Because he was like, I'll just wing it. But like we all know, he's not a wing it kind of no, guy. yeah, yeah, yeah. And so he's like, I don't know why I thought that I should do that. He's like, I'm so sorry. And he goes into this like beautiful speech for me. And we actually didn't even film it, which a part of me was like, oh, I wish I had it. But also I'm like, it was such a beautiful moment between us. I won't even like go into the details, but it was so beautiful. And he like got nervous again. And it was just, it was so sweet. But he like, he did a whole speech and then I took off my ring and I made him do it again Ah! for me. (laughs) You're like, oh. And I was like, do it again. Wait, I love that. And it was just like a beautiful moment between us two. But then I felt so badly because he was waiting. He said, I lit and and, and blew out the candles three times waiting for me to come home. Oh my God. Well, because you left mine at 1130. So you for sure weren't home before midnight. I got home at midnight because I was eating my, or I got my burger. Yeah. It was late. I felt so badly. I told him, I was like, I won't be home past like 915 at the latest. Oh my God. He was just like waiting. And he had ended his night early to like, cause he was waiting for me. I felt really badly, but he was so sweet and it was so beautiful. No, you didn't. You're like, oh my God. I loved it. No, I just felt bad. I was like, I wish, cause he had like, he was playing like games with his friends. And so he like probably ended early but it was so funny he read me he never checks my um his instagram ever but he just read this to me today because i posted a little story the next day and i was like he proposed yeah. again it was so sweet and everybody was so nice about it and he sent me i guess phil kaylee's fiance oh my god sent he sent my story to him and just said hey cal fuck you <laughs> making things harder for all us guys now i have to fly red back to rome just for a second proposal you son of a bitch oh my god i love it <laughs> they're so funny and he just said you better pack your bags bitch ah, but it was it. so sweet and it just was like it was so funny because i was imagining you like being like and he's just like sitting there like waiting oh, shoot, playing like sexy soon. jazz music like, <laughs> <laughs> and then i'm like and then oh my god i gotta fly <laughs> And then you're and like, then and then being like, it's a mean, it's a mean. Yeah. <laughs> it was so funny and so sweet. All in all, really, really sweet and really hilarious. All in all, I can pride myself again that I am now messy again, not dirty. My house is spotless clean. Gorgeous. Um, and Remy, Remy did make cow waiting, but all worked out in the end. It was Them beautiful. Forever mood candles were, were so good. Iconic. I tagged Jackie and she was like, so honored to be a part of your second proposal. Oh, I, I like, love it. I love you, Jackie. Um, but yeah, be careful with fly traps, y'all. Yeah. They will. All in all. All in all. Do you have any more? Or are you not using them ever again? I'm not using, I have some empty ones that I'm like, uh, you know, what you could do is you could set like a calendar for like reminder a day, yeah, for like, like a week, max. three weeks or whatever. Yeah. And be mm-hmm. like, take it in. So you yeah. don't forget. Um, I'm just, I feel like I grew a lot through that experience. You did. You faced your fears head on. No, like truly I got you. I, again, I hope I never need it, but it's nice to know right in here that yeah. if I needed to. Yeah. Well, all in all, thank you so much for listening to today's podcast episode, Pretty Basic, where you can get homeowner tips, exterminator tips, situationship situationship tips, tips, uh, toxic tips. Yeah, all the things. I think that uh, this was a great episode. And uh, comment down below a little fly emoji. No, 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 no. You can do a fly emoji, but I would prefer you do like do the a, soap with the bubbles with a little, you know, the soap. Bar? Oh yeah, maybe the maybe just bar. the soap. That's cute because <laughs> Alicia's clean, and we love you guys, and we'll catch you next episode. Bye. Bye.